Hi, Digital Golf Doc here with another Yoga for Golfers. This session is going to be focused on seniors or people stuck at a desk all day because it can be done entirely from one chair. We're going to start off with a few deep breaths. So stand, sit nice and tall, chest open, head, spine elongated upward, and just take a few deep breaths. As you breathe, focus on the rib cage expanding. We know golf's a sport about rotating, and your ribs are one of your primary limits to rotation. So you want to make sure those move well too. And the best way we can do that is big, deep breaths. All right, next, we're going to take your hands to your knees, and we're going to time with the breath on the inhale. We're going to arch back. Exhale, come forward. As you arch back, you can push through your hands, bring your chest up toward the ceiling, and then come back down. Press through your hands, arch back, and come back down. Make sure as you do this, you're staying nice and tall. You're not coming forward and then crumbling down just like this. You're bending back, but then you're coming to a nice neutral spot. Great. Now we're going to look at bending to the side. So I can just drop an arm off the side, arm overhead, reaching over and toward the ground. I'm going to bring the other one up. Going to reach over and toward the ground. And we'll go back and forth for a few. Again, still maintaining that nice tall spine. Each bend, you should feel a little bit of a stretch through your oblique muscles here. Again, those obliques have to be mobile if you want to take a nice lengthy backswing. And you want that nice lengthy backswing to both keep your back healthy and to produce a lot of power. I'm going to go one more for each side. And then we're going to go into rotation. So you can use your knees to help you on this one. And if you have enough rotation, you can even loop your hand on the back of your chair and pull yourself around. Whatever works best for you is fine with me. Just make sure that as you rotate, you keep your knees facing forward and it doesn't end up turning like this. You don't want to crunch down again. We want to have a nice, tall, Spine, strong posture, and turning as far as we can. Do a few more to each side. Great. Now, we'll come back. You can scoop forward in your chair a little bit. Put your hands either on the base of your chair here, or even back, you can see, on the lower part of the backrest. And what we're going to do is you're going to press your arms back, Puff your chest out nice and far. Take a few deep breaths and lower down. Now, if you find yourself tensing up in your shoulders, your shoulders end up in your ears, make sure you're pressing them down and back. And relax and press down and back. And relax. And down and back. And relax. Next, keep that nice tall posture. We're gonna kick out a few times. So we can be here, I like to put hands on the knees, and I'm going to kick straight, and drop down. Kick straight, drop down. Now at that top position, you're going to feel a little bit of a pull behind your leg. That's your hamstring muscle. It gets tight when you sit all day long if you're stuck at a desk. And stretching it out is always a good option. I like to do these even outside of a yoga session. Just if I'm stuck sitting, I can do it under my desk if you have enough room. Keep those hamstrings nice and mobile. And after a few kicks, I'm going to slide forward. I'm actually going to turn sideways on this one for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to scoot forward in my chair. I'm going to bring one heel out. And then I'm just going to drop down until I feel a stretch. And I'll come up. Drop down. You can use your hands to reach down your leg, feel a stretch. Drop down, and feel a stretch, drop down, and one more, and we'll switch legs. Again, make sure you're still controlling your breathing with these movements. Nice smooth control. Feel those hamstrings lengthen. Just talked about how they get tight all day, so we want to combat that as much as we can. 
especially if you have a round of golf scheduled for after work. Great. I'm going to bring the chair back this way. And we're going to look at bringing your foot up on your knee. And once you're there, you're going to be tall. You're going to use your hands, press down here. Feel that stretch in your hip. And then let it relax. Press down, feel that stretch in your hip. And relax. Press down. And relax. Press down. And relax. We'll switch to the other side. Stand nice and tall. Press down. And relax. If you're having a tough time just getting your foot on top of your opposite knee, maybe a, a comment below this video. I have some alternative movements here, but they take a little longer. So if you want those, just let me know and I'll whip up a video for you in no time. And control that breath. Nice and calm. Great. Now we're going to bring these down. Next we're going to go into this nice wide stance here. So open your legs up until you feel a little bit of a stretch in your groin muscles. And what we'll do is we'll go opposite elbow to knee. Now we're adding that rotation component along with a little bit of bending and a little bit of hip, hip flexibility. Two more touches on each side. If you need a break, take it when you need it and just come back and join us as quick as you can. Okay, now we're gonna go with another twist again. So this time we're gonna grab the opposite knee and help turn. Hopefully keeping your hips wide as you turn. What you don't want to do is turn and let your leg collapse in. You want to stay nice and tall, strong posture. Feel that rotation through your upper and lower back. Great. Just a few more turns. We'll do two each direction. All right, so touched on a little bit of everything we could there, all without leaving a chair. <clears throat> this is great if you're new to yoga, if you have trouble with balance, or you're just not mobile enough or ready for the harder videos. Start here, use this a few times, get used to it, and check out some of the ones where I'm on the mat, and then get into some standing ones from there. Thanks, guys.